Hello, welcome, welcome to my house, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today we are going to do a quick video. I want to show you this beautiful stitch that I made many years ago uh, when I was working for a magazine. I made this stitch for a vest. If I found a picture, I will share with all of you. I love it, I love how it looks and I love the result. So I remember about it and I want to show you again the step by step and all my secrets and tips. In this case, I decided to use this color, this egg color and this material I have left from previous projects. So I decided to make it. I made it in two different materials and I will use the uh, material with shades of blue and white in the back and the green in the front. I think that this stitch is perfect for a blanket, for a vest, for a sweater, for a pillow, for uh, um, what else, for a sweater, for many other things. But well, before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free and um, to follow me in my social media. So let's start. Well, we will use these two skeins of yarn, different colors. The one that I will use as the base, it's between medium and weight yarn. And then the ones that I use to uh, make the feathers are like light material. I will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters. Well, before we start, I want to give you like a general advice. Uh, I always suggest that you, if you are about to do a new project, and you are about to try a new stitch, I suggest that you make this kind of samples. Probably you will make a sample with 30 chains as base chains or 20, and then uh, you will try to calculate the size and the number of chains with this person by making these small samples. Probably with these samples you will need that you will need 20 chains, 20 chains and 20 chains, for the base chains and to get the exact size of this person. Also, if you have a garment, you can use it as a base and you can calculate how many stitches do you have until you covered the part of the garment of this person, right? So like this, you will know exactly the number of stitches that you need to start. Well, um, I'm going to start with one thread and with our hook and we are going to make as a base 40 chains. Okay, so once we have the chains that we need, we are going to count 5 and in the 6th chain, we are going to insert the hook and make there a double crochet. Then we will count 2 chains. We will skip one and next to it a double crochet. Then we are going to make two chains and this time we are going to skip two and in the third a double crochet. So as you could see once we are going to skip one and once we are going to skip two. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Okay, so here let's make a review. Remember that once you are going to skip two and once you are going to skip one. And well, at the end, I ended make, uh, making 30 chains. But if you want to keep the same number of chains as two base chains, remember that here we went up right away and we skipped five spaces or six if I remember correct. Well, then you can add these five chains and then from there you can start if you want to keep the same number of chains. So like this, you won't reduce the size. And well, here I want to finish this row with you so you can see exactly how it is. Here for the last double crochet, we are going to make it right here in the edge and like this we will close the row. Please always take this stitch the same way, taking both parts of the chain. Remember, if you have watched my previous videos, this little detail is very important at the end. 
it will make the difference to make something beautiful and the amount of all these details will be the best so we will go up with five chains and then we are going to continue making two chains between and double crochet over double crochet and well like this we are going to continue making all the mesh until you get the size of the mesh that you want okay if you are going to make a pillow well i suggest that you make the this mesh uh, covering the size of your pillow right in this case i put the how can we call it the uh, the feathers okay each four rows of mesh i decided to put the feathers so we are going to make this stitch of multiples of four so please take that into account or like you want if you want to make it each three rows put the feathers it's correct too like you want but well I suggest that first you finish this mesh so we are going to continue like this until we get this size that we want remember that here in this case I'm making a sample here I finished the rectangle and the base chains that I need for my sample okay so you are going to make the same once you have the perfect size for your base we are going to skip one row and then in the next one we are going to start making the stitch of feathers so we will start right here one square before right here in the edge we are going to insert the hook I'm going to use this new color it's it's a lighter material we are going to make a knot and right here we will take the first loop and we are going to make two chains so one now this is the first stitch one and two chains well and then we are going to insert the hook I suggest that you fold your base like this it will be easier okay we are going to insert the hook right where this first square finish we are going to slip one and well once we are here we are going to make 10 chains 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 then we are going to come back and in the first place in the first stitch we are going to make one single crochet next to it a second double I mean a second single crochet then in the next two coming stitches we are going to make one half double crochet here and then a second half double crochet there well then after these two half double crochet then in the next two stitches we are going to make one double crochet here and then a second double crochet next to it and then we are going to increase in these two coming stitches we are going to make one double crochet but out of three crochet so we will take one two and the last two and then next to it and in the last stitch will be a double crochet but it will be a triple double crochet you see so like this we will have our feather then we are going to insert the hook right where the second square finished then we will slip one and here we have our first feather then to go to the next space and to make the next feather we are going to make two chains and then right here we are going to slip one and then from here we will start and we will make 10 chains and we will repeat what we have just made in the first feather as you could see we are increasing first single crochet then half double crochet then double crochet then a, a double crochet out of three crochet and then a triple double crochet so we are making two by two just the last one will be a single triple double crochet okay and like this is how we are going to continue making this row of feathers with two chains between of distance between feathers 
and like this is how I'm going to continue I want to do a review with you so I want to uh, do this feather so you can see exactly how it is and I know that at the beginning you thought it will be a bit difficult but as you could see we are only using basic stitches and it's so easy and I think that with this stitch you can make a lot of things I will try to upload the video that I made using this stitch I made a best and it looks so beautiful I made it for a magazine and it was in the cover so it was a huge success I put the base in black and then all the feathers in different colors and it looks so good okay I want to show you how it looks after we make these three feathers so you can see how it is the secret also in this stitch is that once you finish you have to iron it remember that I told you that always the first time that we iron will be the most important with this we are going to um, kind of put the feathers how we want it to be and it doesn't matter if after you iron it you wash it or so these feathers will last like this for a long time so that's why the first time that we iron it it's the most important so in this stitch in this project uh, the fact that we iron will be so important I want to show you let's finish just this feather and well as we continue here I'm going to continue until I finish the row so remember two chains and like this okay so look so far we have these three feathers and you may have these like rolled feathers like this but once we iron it it will look so different you will see so I will finish the row so we can uh, start with the next one and well to start with the next row we can use any of the tricks that I gave you because I will explain so let's finish the row first so we will finish with two chains and then we are going to slip one here so as I was telling you you should cut right here leave please leave a long thread so later you can hide it it's very important please always remember and we have to we can slip because if not we will make the uh, feathers facing to the wrong side like this okay so we want that the feathers are always facing to the right side so that's why we are going to cut and move the thread we will make the feathers each four rows two three and four so right here is where I'm going to start the second row and you will always start the row in the same side okay so we can always have the feathers facing to the right side so please pay attention in this detail and this is basically it this is basically the secret of this stitch and well also we are going to alternate the feathers okay so if we didn't make a feather here here in the row that we are about to start we are going to make a feather to start right away so we are going to start the feather as you could see here I also alternate the spaces where I put the feather if you want in the first row you can start right away with the feather but this will be up to you you will decide and also you will decide probably instead of each three rows start with the row of feathers you can make them closer I mean you can skip only one row and then you can start with the next one this is up to you and you will decide the distance between feathers or no according to the design that you want to do so this is basically the the stitch I love the results and I love also that you can make it for many other things as I told you I made a best and just the Two fronts of the vest were with this stitch and then the back part I made it with a different stitch that were um, just with double crochet the whole back 
and it looks so fancy and beautiful and at first instead at first sight it looks difficult right but as you could see it's so easy so again here we are going to make two chains and we will continue to the next square and right there we are going to continue making the other a uh, feather you can use also different colors you can make the combination that you want or also you can make one um, row of feathers in one color then the next one in a different color and make your own combinations so please let me know here in the comments what do you think about this stitch here I'm just making more feathers with you so we can review remember that each two stitches we are going to change we are going to start making first two single crochet then two half double crochet then two double crochet then two double crochet out of three crochet and then we will finish making a triple double crochet or a extended double crochet I still don't know exactly the exact and the correct number because I know that in different countries it's different and I know that many people from different parts of the world watch my videos and I really appreciate that so I know that it changed so I'm trying just to to be correct but please let me know in the comments so as I told you once we finish we have to iron and it will look so different and also please always pay attention and to start the rows always in the same side uh, you can put a humid fabric here once you extend all your feathers if you want you can use some pins what I always do is that in the table I put a towel and then I extend my project I put some pins and then very slowly and gently I pass I, and then I put the fabric, humid uh, fabric, not too much, and then I put the iron and it looks like this. This is how it looks once you iron it. It looks so beautiful. And with this we finish. Before we go, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. You can also follow me in all my social media too. Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and in TikTok. So see you there. Take care and thanks for watching this video till the end. Bye bye.